doing. But without further ado, can I please introduce to you one of the most special people, one of the most lovely writers I've ever come across. Ironically, her name is Annie Hater. She can't hate anybody. Please scream like your neighborhood fed. I don't know. Scream like someone that screams in it for Annie Hater. Every time I see Kareem, I fall a bit more in love with him. I think he's just one of the most beautiful people. Thank you, Kareem. And um, hello, my name is Annie Hayter. I'm going to have to figure out how to put this in the mic stand. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm going to do a poem for you called When Grandma Wrestled with a Cow in Lidford Gorge, 1966. Now, my grandmother is a hardy woman. She ran a dairy farm in Devon in the 70s. And she's the type of person who tests dog food before giving it to animals. She's pretty hardcore. Grandma saw the cow flailing and jumped into the gorge. Grabbed the dump of a furred belly and pulled relentlessly. Grabbed the curve of the hind legs, round head baying. Groaning gestation of the cow from the water who fell like a kid from the cliff from the sky, great lump falling down through the rock and green. She kept its head above the water, beast in the cauldron of the devil, it writhing, knees knocking from the cold of it. But she stood firm from fear of her husband's loss, that woman with her bovine angel, resolute that it should live, wrapped in the sunlight. It died there, the jersey. Horns lolling, thick tongue lapping, rising sullen when hooked out from the men in the village with ropes and calloused hands as if unruly baptized, bow boned, now brick a brack of the gorge. They were in the water together for six hours. That's a kind of love, surely held in each other's embrace. A few years later, a squaddy fell in after a few pints at the pub. The gorge didn't have planking on the side. It was swarming to take him. My grandmother got pleurisy and her lungs never healed. Thank you, that was my first one. When you applaud, because when I'm on the train home, I'm gonna think about it and replay it over and over again. And over. <laughs> Thank you. Um, this next poem is about the desire and the love of another person of the same gender. Um, I think it was Pride last weekend, and it's a really exciting time to be alive and to be gay or bi or queer or whatever label you choose to use. Um, yeah, and it's called We Were Close Together lay as we slept clicking saints names in our ears i watched her wash her hair i need to i need it i need her she said they will put you in the ground and throw soil over you you must pretend to be dead for god willed it so to bid higher obedience to the form the dead black sun wrecked us so gleefully and we boiled our wedding dresses hand in hand, then cropped our hair as close as breath. I love that of what you love. I love all that you love, for you are love. I am so jealous I could spit at all the men who stare at you. Pigs in broth, walking potato sacks who lack the discretion that your grace demands. Collectors of the world, fleas and worms crawl their way to holy. How many kisses have I placed on your dear feet? How many hairs have I plucked from your jacket? I love all that I love. I love all that you are, for you are love. Thank you. Um, don't mind my backing band, by the way. Um, they're just doing their job. I mean, I think we should have more praise for Stage Crew because they do such a fantastic yes! job and so quickly. Yeah, Woo! thank you, Stage Crew. <laughs> um, this next poem is about a trip I went on to Iceland. I was very lucky to get a travel grant and I went to visit a glacier. Is there anyone from Iceland here? 
Okay, it's called If God Exists and If God Were a Glacier, She Would Be Mirdas Koku. <laughs> Tracks furrowing, ridging up the glacier like the veins of a giant who had eaten too much spinach and it had coloured his blood emerald. Smokes of water streaming down from the hit of the hot sun on the ice crisscross of tourists towing their way to the site, big blobs and specks in the way of sight, to see the glare that sends the gaze flashing back, stains the eye that would delimit a landscape that is holy in its bounds. Thank you. Um, I'm going to do another poem, um, it's called God Birth, and it's about the importance of being loving to anyone you're in any encounter with. Um, no matter how brief or how long, um, it's God birth. You cradled me like I was a God, newly born, as if whole worlds would open if my limbs crackled, as if my fresh bones would crumble into seas and cities, whales and circuses if you were not gentle. Lips stand damp as expectation on birth a new century and unwieldy arms and ribs which cave out. The breath of you on my back frees me, mouth on skin, a cerulean kiss which undoes a new sky, a heaven broken, the concern in your voice, the wornness, how frail we all are, how we bruise to a touch. Even gods get cold. Thank you. Woo! I'm going to do one more poem. Um, and it's a bit surreal and it's a bit abstract. Yeah. And um, it's called Fruit Cocktail. Ah! Make of that what you will. Woo! I kept the devil in a tin of mixed fruits. His name always seemed to change, but today he wore a miniature three piece suit. His scraggly beard, a testament to his satanic urges the pint-sized pinstripes pointing down. I tickled the soft hair bum fluffing from the nape of his neck, tickled his sagging chin. In many forms, he'd appear to me on the weekend, tip-tap on the lid of it. Morse code me 80s ballad, summon me to sugar-sweet coated bliss offered in a single jellied lemon, tart and ripening. Picture the pout of all the supermodels piled into one, the demonic shape of desire in beckoning glory. I put him away and only took him out for parties or special occasions. A visit to Greg's for a sausage poof puff and a bag of nachos. He loved the crunch. I could never satisfy his lust for pork pies and a pint in spoons. I can still hear the echo of his sly insinuations, hear the sounds of his claws scratching against my throat. Now, that was intended as a surrealist version of my experiences of online dating. Um, and I'm not sure if anyone's done online dating, but it's pretty hellish. Um, so thank you so much. You've been a lovely audience. And oh my God, I'm going to do Mariana play later. And I just I love I'm doing Mariana. So can I have a cheer for Amadou and Mariana? Ladies and gentlemen, I need Hater, A double N I E H A Y T E R, um, published by Barbican. Mary, Mary, I was about to say various and numerous and got confused. So, Narius, Narius times. Um, you can watch videos, read. Um, any budding artists, Barbican's got a lot to offer. I started out Barbican Young Poet, and he did. Chris, who you may have heard earlier, did. Um, so, yeah, show some love. Treat yourself like you're important, yeah.